For many people, many of them ignore a huge chance to boost optimization and sales, since they mainly focus on Google. Now, the reason for this is they think that Google is the biggest search engine, but it works mainly for ads. If you are looking to optimize in the e-commerce realm however, you should be looking at Amazon rather than Google, since it has way more of a search volume for their products. In fact, it's about three times more, which is pretty impressive. In 2009, nearly a quarter of shoppers started research for online purchase on a search engine like Google and 18% started on Amazon, according to a Forrester research study. By last year, almost a third started on Amazon and just 13% on a search engine. Product searches on Amazon have grown 73% over the last year while searches on Google Shopping have been flat, according to Comsca. What that means is that many SEOs suffer from the fact that they spend most of their time looking at Google, when in fact most of the e-commerce sales are generated through the use of Amazon. You should start to spend more energy and time optimizing through Amazon, and you should work to understand the Amazon organic ranking algorithm. Now, the first is to talk about the contents of the results page. For many of the pages, there are two formats, a view of the searches based off department, and a gallery view that lets you search within one category. Usually, it contains 15 results per page in the list view, and about 24 for the gallery view per page. The Amazon search page also lets you filter the results in the listing sidebar. When you click on it, then it takes you to a subcategory of results. It's important to put in as many keywords and fields as possible, because it's what will show up in each of the fields, and it allows you to improve your reach. Many times, people don't put the colors on there, but it's important to do that because sometimes people will filter their products based on their colors that they desire. Now it's time to talk about the query parameters. Now, the Amazon search engine has a similarity to Google in this sense, but there are usually a lot of them listed. This section will go over the most useful ones. The first is to put in the field keywords, which is what you're looking for in the search bar, a node which is a numeric list identifying a place in Amazon's category which is determined by the number Amazon uses in the URL and the field brand text bin, which represents the brand field, which is very important and useful and will allow you to track products and the rankings of other products that contain the same brand. Now, it will not return the results of the product if you only use the field text bin, so make sure that you see all the products located in that brand, along with the brand name and the field keywords parameter. Now, it's time to talk about how to rank well on Amazon. There are a few factors that one must keep in mind, and this section will go over some of the more important ones that you need to know. The first is performance factors. This will show the rankings of each product, and it will show which products will generate a profit for Amazon. The ones that give Amazon the most profit will be at the top of the search result. You will see which ones are ranked well based off how they're selling. Then there is the conversion rate, which is an obvious one to talk about, but it takes a bit to get used to. Now, with this, to find out the conversion data, you have to go to the Seller Central tab, go to the Reports tab, then Business Reports, then the Detail Page Sales and Traffic. You should then see the number of units divided by the number of sessions your listing has given you. Now, if you are competing with other offers that are the same product, you should look at the unit's order by the box percentage, since if you don't do it like that it won't convert right. Then there are images. You should follow the image requirements of an image of 1000 times 1000 pixels for each, and it will also allow customers to zoom in to see what it looks like, which will make sales greater. So, if you include those in your Amazon guidelines, you will be able to help improve listings and not suppress them, which is what usually kills the sales, and in turn this will increase the conversion rate. Then there is the price, which influences the conversion rates and unit sales. If a price is compared with another product offered on another site or store, people might buy from Amazon or vice versa. 
You should also look at the price of your items in comparison to other products that are of the same category. Some people sell products on Amazon for about 5 to 10 times what they should be, and that in turn will not get customers to want to buy that, and the conversion rate will be very low. Instead, if you have something that you think would sell for that price on Amazon, the best thing to do is to try to use keywords, and a compelling description that will allow others to agree that the price that you're selling it for is worth it or not. Those are what you should be looking at in terms of conversion. Doing this appropriately is how you'll improve rankings on your Amazon page, and in turn, you'll be able to generate more sales, and improve product sales. Just work on those conversion rates, and soon you'll be selling products and optimizing on Amazon in no time. I hope you will find it helpful. Please share your comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. If you are looking for any more help for your Amazon listing, please contact AmazonSEOteam.com. Thank you for watching.